Oh, there's people in here already. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I don't think I've actually spoken all day. Um, MC, Caithness Films, hello, hello, hello. Avery, Town, hello. Lee from Old School, sorry, that's my finger right in the camera. Lee from Old School Window Cleaners, it's gonna fill up quick in here tonight. Uh, you never know, you never know. It's been a while since alive, actually. Cheers, everybody, I've got a huge uh, pint of beer here. How's everybody doing, everyone okay? James says evening all, hello, mate. Lee says evening, Jamie. How's everyone doing, anyone? How's it going, Lee? You all right? What are you up to, mate? Hello, Steve. Hello, DGM. Got a clean in. Hello, Lee. How's it going? 43 in already. It's been 45 seconds, guys. Oh, everyone's, pour Whoa, everyone's pouring in now. Slow down, slow down. All right, where am I? Evening, Richard. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Matthew. Hello, Christian. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Flowerly. Good morning from New Zealand, all the way in New Zealand. Yeah, it's morning over there, but it's 9.36 on the night here. You're at Tegan. Hello, Charlie. All good. Admin. Oh, you doing admin? Oh, I don't envy you, mate. Hello, Nicole. Hello, Sahil. I'm from, uh, well, I'm from Birmingham in the UK, in England, Sahil. Exterior clean experts in here. Ryland's in here, hello Ryland. Sussex External Kin, hello. Regis Mom, hello. Hello Steve, hello Josh, hello Ray. You right, Ray, how's it going, buddy? Hello Chris, how's it going, mate? You right, nice to see you here, bud. Um, 87 already, I'm gonna lose these, I'm gonna lose this fast. Sorry if I miss anyone, I'm really, I'm sorry. Hello Pelham, hello James, hello TJ, hello Violet, hello Christian, Deborah, hello, Jake, hello, Andrew, hello. Gina, hello, Polly. I'm trying to rinse through these. Santanisha, good night, and don't say my, oh, already done it, sorry. Um, Missy, another wonderful live. Thank you very much. Ribbersum, hello there, hello Chris, hello Vicky, hello Amrit, hello William, hello Mike. Oh my God, guys, I'm gonna miss these. Sorry, you're coming in too fast. Eight, six already. All right, hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I just thought I'd pop a quick, uh, sorry, sorry if I miss anyone, by the way. Um, ah, Neil Stokes is in there. Hello, Neil. Nice to speak to you on the phone um, before, mate. That was brilliant. Um, Maz is here. Hello, Maz. Hello, Ali. Yeah, sorry if I miss anyone, guys. It comes in quite thick and fast these days. It's hard for me to keep up, but yeah. I've changed the lighting a bit, so hopefully everyone can see me okay and hear me okay. So let me know if there's any issues. Let me know and I can move some stuff around. And uh, that's all say. But yeah, if anyone's got any questions, if anyone wants to know anything, just give me a shout. Need more power washing vids, they're so damn satisfying. Yeah, I'm trying, I've got actually, uh, I was meant to do it today, I was meant to start it today anyway. I've got a really big one, I think it's probably my biggest pressure washing job yet. Um, so I'll be starting that tomorrow. I'll be finished it on Thursday, hopefully. So there should be a video up Thursday night or at the latest Friday night, so. Look forward to that one. It should be pretty cool, actually. The guy's got a really nice place. He's, uh, he's got like a fountain in the middle of it. It's, it's awesome. It's not in use, but it just looks really cool. So yeah, look forward to that one. Let me scroll up before I miss anything. True Blue, never thought I'd catch a live chat. Hello from Louisiana. I mean, that's a, that's a, a long way away from here. Dustin, Dustin Poirier is from Louisiana, isn't he? He's one of my favorite UFC fighters. Uh, Henrique, hello Henrique. Enjoy that beer. Thank you, I definitely will. Sounds great, huge fan. Thank you very much, appreciate that. Christina says, good evening from Portugal. Thank you, Christina. Hello from Frankfurt. Uh, Marianella says, hello, hello, Marianella. Um, is that a two point glass? No, actually, I think it might be a one point. I don't know, it just looks big, but I just don't think it is that big. Um, Mike says, the growth has been incredible, looking forward to the future. All right, tell me about it. It's been absolutely madness, I can't believe it. I've had a few sort of like, I had like a really big up, which is I think is around the time I did my first live stream when I went on holiday. And the, the channel just had like boomed by that point and I just, I absolutely couldn't believe it. Um, I sort of was way past my future expectations and it got really big and then it really slowed down after that. It took like a really long dive down. I was like, oh, okay, I've had my fun. This is it. So, and I was okay with that. I was like, right, I'll probably plateau at about 15, 20,000 subscribers and I was completely fine with that. Um, 
and it did for a bit, it did for a while, and then it just went and like took off again. And I was like, okay, here we go again. So it went up and then it went down again and around 30,000, it went really low again. And I was like, okay, that's fine by me. I'll, you know, I've already beat all the expectations. Here we are, this is, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'll just maintain it. And then it went up again. And then we're still kind of on the up a bit now. So yeah, now I don't know what we're at now, 60, 63,000 and something. It's 62,000 and something. I can't believe it. Just, yeah. Thank you very much for everyone because it's all of you guys that are subscribing. So it's, yeah, I make the videos and I edit them, but it's actually your effort put in that clicks the button. So thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate it. Right, let me scroll up before I miss anything. Um, all right, Neil says, even as Sid nice talk to you. Yeah, you too, mate. That was quite informative for me, actually. So thank you very much. Raise in the chat. Hello, Heather. Hello, Jake. Jake says, no way you're keeping up. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm going to try my best. I oh, really am going to try my best. Right, I think I've caught up to there. So I'll scroll down now. Um, da, 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 da. Maz says, you're the best, Sid. Keep it up. I'm not the best, man. I'm just, yeah, I'm just me. But thank you very much, mate. Um, Sab says, hello. About dinner time here in South Carolina. Yeah, enjoy your dinner. Have some nice food. North Carolina. Steve gives it. Thank you, Steve. Spencer says, what's up? What's up, Spencer? The bot Harry says, you're good. Thank you, mate. Um, right, I'm caught up to there, so I know where I am now. Um, okay, let's move down. Down, down, down. Sorry, my voice is cracking. Um, looking to start on my... Tim Reed says, looking to start on my own. Uh, what's the best way to start getting jobs in? Um, it depends where you are in the world and it depends how people react to you. But for me personally, it was just knocking some doors. Just knock some doors, be yourself, just relaxed, just try and um, exude a little bit of confidence if you can. Um, and that does help because pe if people trust you, the main thing is getting people to trust you. As soon as people trust you, they'll recommend you, they'll say, yes, you've got the job and they'll send you to all of their neighbours. So the main thing is just trying to work a bit of confidence into what you're doing. So really research whatever you're going into and then you'll... You'll smash it, honestly. Um, Nicole says, how long have you been power washing all together? Um, just over a year, so not that long at all. About a year and a half, maybe, if that. So I'm relatively new in it, to be honest. So there's a lot of guys on YouTube that are much better at it than I am. So I guess if you probably typed in pressure washing UK, a lot of them guys will probably come up. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that know a lot more than I do. Um, I'm still relatively in the, I know exactly what to do, but I'm still in the early stages. So there's some stones and some particular things that I'm just not quite sure on yet, which is again, another reason why I started the channel to educate myself and to educate other people. Um, Pelham says, if you want to do pressure washing, can I buy, if I want to do some pressure washing, can I buy the kit and use it straight away? Or is there a lot of other bits with it? Um, if you buy like a petrol one, no, to be honest, if you buy any pressure washer at all, it pretty much comes with like a start kit. The only thing you probably need with it would be a hose. Um, most of them come with like a lance and a hose and all the other stuff. So you, you're pretty much good to go. Um, hello, David. David White. Hello, Galen from Texas. Thank you very much. Not as big as the German pint of beer. Yeah, I've got um, I've got a big boot somewhere. I think it's still in Birmingham at my mum's house, but I've got like a massive boot, which I used to fill up with beer, but yeah, it's a bit too much sometimes. Um, Alessandra says, what city do you live? I'm in Burton in England. Mike says, shoot for the stars. Cheers, Mike, thank you. Big fan, like the video, thank you. How are the girls? The girls are great. Um, my missus is staying at um, her nan's today um, for the next two days, I think. So the girls are with her. So yeah, I've, that's why I thought I'd do a live because there's uh, absolute silence in the house. Uh, DP Video says, hi buddy, hope you're, all, uh, hope you're all good. Love watching the vids. Keep it up in watching since you started. Thank you very much, mate, appreciate that. Um, I'm sure uh, Banity says, hi Sid. I'd love to know how you price up jobs, loving your work. I do it off meter squared. So if you go on Google Maps, right click, there'll be an option to say, um, start measurement or something. It'll be like a measure thing and I measure up usually from there. But if I go and visit a job in person, then I'll measure up the tape measure. Um, and then you want to figure out your price per meter squared. So if it's 100 meter, 100 meter squared, it might be, if you're in England, it might be anywhere from three to five pounds per meter squared, depending on what you're doing on the drive. So, um, right, I'll try not miss anything. So David says, we need to come sort of day in October for you to come clean our yard. Yeah, absolutely, mate. We'll get that sorted. We really will. Yeah, appreciate that, Dave. I'll definitely get that done. Um, how often, sorry if I miss anyone, by the way. Jamie says, how often 
if ever do you power wash and clean your own property. Uh, I'm in a new build, so I haven't even had the chance to do it yet, to be honest, because it's pretty clean. Narinda says, why is pressure washing so addictive? No idea, honestly, it, it beats me. I mean, I like it because it's my job and I watch videos on it, but yeah, other people watching videos on it baffles me because I'm like, it's, that's what I do every day, it's mad. So I can't believe the amount of people that watch the, the, the videos on the channel, it's amazing. William says, videos will bring you to a 100K quicker. Um, you know, if I had a hundred thousand pounds, I'd be loving my life. I'd, if I had a hundred thousand pounds in cash right now, I'd only do pressure washing. I'd quit every other job that I do and I'd only do pressure washing. Um, Sarah says, you deserve it, Sid, you work so hard. Thank you very much. Um, first Jen Hun says, hello from Columbus, Ohio. Congrats on your subscribers. It's 440, sorry, I ain't got my glasses on. Um, glad I was able to catch you live. Thank you very much and hello. Steve, Stephen Simpson says, hi Sid, I was here, I think for your last stream. Thank you very much, mate. Ray says, brilliant, mate, I've had it for a year. Yeah, right, I've read that one. Okay, I think I've probably missed someone, but sorry. Crazy Hala says, love from India. It's actually 2, 10 a.m. here, so I won't be able to stay for long, but just wanted to tell you you're amazing. Thank you very much, and thank you for tuning in, and you've been popping off on the videos recently. I've seen all your comments, so thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, Jarat says, hello from Mexico, thank you very much. Matt says, your channel's flying. Thank you very much. Um, right, I'm gonna try and get to questions, if there is any, just so I can make sure I don't miss anyone, if that's okay by you guys. True Blue says, what was your hardest cleaning ever? Um, hardest cleaning job ever. Pressure washing wise, it was probably that care home that I did. I think, was it that care home I did? Yeah, it probably was that care home I did. Um, which is one of the videos that's got a million views on my channel. I think it was called like Dirtiest Driveway Ever. That was quite a challenge because I had quite a slow machine as well then. So if I had my new machine, it would have been really easy. But at the time, it was really tough. Um, Lee says, I think we should have a channel. I think we should have a challenge, a jet washing blast off. Yeah, we'll figure something out, mate. We'll, we, honestly, I need to collab with everybody soon. So yeah, absolutely, definitely. Trace says, you do hello, Tracy, how are you? Uh, Tim says, thanks for the advice. No worries, Tim. Firestar101 says, hi Sid, look forward to seeing your latest jobs. Love things becoming so new before our, our, so nice before our eyes. Well, thank you. And I've seen you comment on all the videos as well. So you've been here for a while, haven't you? So thank you very much. I think I missed a donation from somebody. Oh no, I don't want to miss that. Oh, there it is, I got it. Oh, it was first Jen Hunt. It was a US $5, so thank you very, very much. Here's a few help tools putting a logo on your van. Um, or to get you on your way. Thank you very much. I honestly, I massively appreciate that. You would not believe, because I don't want to just get like a few sort of words and stickers put on the van. Um, I want to try and get it wrapped and it'd be like a whole, because it's not an old van, but it's not a new van. It's kind of in the middle. So I'm hoping it will last me five, 10 years, hopefully. Um, so I kind of want to do it really, really nice um, instead of wasting the money on like an old van kind of thing. So yeah, it's very expensive and it's not just, I think the sign writing itself is probably about, I think someone gave me a quote for about 1500 quid for like a full van wrap, which is actually pretty good, I think. But it's the insurance. As soon as you get like something like that in the van, your insurance rises through the roof as well because they presume you've got tools in the van, which means everything rises. So yeah, it's quite expensive. So thank you, that'll go straight towards that. Thank you very much. Sorry guys, let me have a drink because I'm getting thirsty already. All right, just someone there, Pyro said, how do you decompress after a work day or after finishing a video? Good question. It's not easy to do, to be honest. Because um, usually I get straight in from work and if it's like, say if it was like a two day job, um, SD card straight in the computer and then I instantly begin editing. So I'm probably back at like five, six o'clock and I think the best time to get a video up is probably around eight o'clock ish. Any later than that, it kind of just doesn't hit. If you sort of get a video up around eight o'clock, it kind of hits the UK audience on the evening and the American audience on the night, on their morning, I think. Um, so it's kind of like the best time, like UK evening is like the best time to get a video up. If you put it up later, I've done it a few times and the video just hasn't done well to begin with because no one's been awake, basically like both audiences have been awake or the American audience might be at work kind of thing. Um, and if the video doesn't do well in the first couple of hours, it kind of just goes, it just really just doesn't do very well. So it's sometimes like a mad dash to try and like edit the video and get it up. But sometimes if I'm editing it and it's just not coming out quite right, and it's like half seven, half seven on the night, I'm like, you know what? It's not worth me putting out a video that's crap. So I just delay it till the next day, basically. But usually it take, as far as decompressing, like your question was, um, 
it's tough. Like, I don't, I, I don't actually know how I do it. It's, I don't think I do decompress. I'm always kind of in a motion. But if I have a couple of days off, then I can kind of, uh, and I can sort of chill out a bit. But yeah, it's tough sometimes. Um, sorry, guys, I'm missing so many questions here. I really do apologise. 143 people in it. Is that a record? I think that might. Be, no, I think 170 is the record. So. Yeah, that's absolutely awesome. Right, I've got up to that donation. I think there's a few before that, so I'm really sorry, anyone, if I missed you. Um, Big Sax, Big Saxa says, Hey, Sid, did you need to get any specific paperwork for doing pressure washing using the bleach? No, uh, not in the UK anyway. You don't need any licenses or anything like that to use to use the products. I think the game Power Washing Simulator made a lot of big YouTubers streaming it and made videos. Yeah, that definitely helped. I did notice that on a lot of my, especially my playground videos that I do. Um, man, I must have just hit like a lucky jackpot there because when I started doing that, it was just before that game actually came out. So I started cleaning a couple of playgrounds and I really tried to make those videos as good as I possibly could. Um, and then that game came out and then I think Markiplier started playing it and there was a few other YouTubers that were really big that I knew of anyway that started playing it. Um, and then it started to bring, it slowly trickled like a few viewers in. Um, and they, I mean, these videos had already done quite well anyway. They'd kind of hit like some algorithm and started doing pretty good. Um, but then they had like a second win then when uh, that game came out and they started, a lot of the YouTubers started playing it. So that was awesome. So I brought a lot of people over to the channel, which is wicked. Um, Pettigrew says, hey, Steve, what's going on, man? Yeah, all good. Hope you're okay. Crazy Ella says, have a nice night, day. Peace. Thanks for posting. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Gigi, 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 Francis. Hi, love from Trinidad and Tobago. That's a long way away. So thank you very much for tuning in. Seba says, I remember the one with the garage at the bottom of the drawer. Yeah, that was the one. That was the one I was on about. That was my second video to get a million views. It was on track to be my first one, but then another one overtook it. But yeah, that was the one that, um, that was my kind of first sort of little boost to get a lot of subscribers on the channel, a bit of traction actually. Um, Oliver says, your videos are so calming. Big fan from Hertfordshire. Thank you very much. That's, that's not, yeah, it's the UK. Well, see, anywhere in the UK now, I think it's not far from here just because of people like from Trinidad and Tobago come in. Um, videos help me relax. Thank you very much. Luan's here. Hello, Luan. Hey, Sid, good to see you. Glad you're, glad you're live. I think you said glad you're alive. I was thinking, have I been away that long? Any freebies in the pipeline? Yes, actually, very, very soon. I'm not going to release any info yet. I just need to finalise a few things, but should be the start of next month. I've already been there. I've already spoken to the guy. Um, and I'm going to do something pretty special for that job, actually, because it's quite a touching story. So um, look forward to that one. That should be... Um, it'll be a slightly different video because I don't want to sort of make it about me because it's it won't be about me at all. It'll, about, it'll be about what this... Uh, this fella's going through so I won't release any more than that for now but we'll see how it goes but just know everything that you guys have already donated in the past towards things like that it's literally been put in a pot waiting for things like this so um yeah I'm uh yeah I'm, I'm really happy to start getting stuff like that done again um sorry guys missing so much Helena says hello from Missouri USA what's the most unusually unusual job you've ever done uh don't know. I don't know. There's been so many, to be honest. Let me come back to that because I'm sure I'll think of something. And I, I mean, I can already see in the future because there's a few jobs coming up which I've never done anything like it before, uh, which obviously I'll be making videos on. So I can already, I can imagine the most unusual jobs I haven't done yet, but I can't think of what I've done so far. I've done some weird things, but we'll see. Um, Biz Frost says, you have a doppelganger in New Zealand. His name is Flumo on the internet. I'll check that out in a bit and I'll uh, I'll let you know. But I've, I get that a lot because it's weird because growing up with me, it was like, you know, everyone's got their friends and it's like, oh, well, you look a bit like Ben Affleck or you look a bit like so-and-so. I never, ever had anyone say I look like anyone. So I always thought, oh, my, you know, do I look weird or something? I've got no doppelgangers. And it's only since I've started YouTube I've had... Uh, ben Barnes was one of the main ones. I've had Keanu Reeves, but I think that's just the hair. Um, there was, my missus says I look like some, well, my missus says I look like everyone with long hair, but um, she says I look like, who is it? I think it was the guy, 
Eurovision Song Contest. There was like an Italian band. I don't know if they won it or not, but she thinks I look like the guy from there. There's, there's been loads of people. The only one I actually kind of can see is Ben Barnes. I, I do think I slightly look a little bit like him. Um, again, really sorry anyone if I miss anything. Oh my God, I'm missing so much. Um, what's this? Avery Town says, it's not much, but I discovered your channel recently and it's helped me through a lot of anxiety attacks. US $7. Thank you very much, Avery. That's amazing. I also suffer with anxiety. Well, I wouldn't say I suffer with it anymore, but I have suffered with it and it does. You can always feel it creeping back up from time to time. So I'm glad I can help that. Um, I never actually found anything that helped me other than me just being stupid busy. That was the only thing that ever helped me. So I help, I'm, I'm glad that I can be like a slight bit of help for you with stuff like that, because it's horrible. I, re I really genuinely wouldn't wish it on anyone. I was talking to a customer about it the other day and, um, and I said the same thing. I was like, it's, there's no way to deflect from it. It's just, you've got it or you haven't and you just, you won't know until you have it. And when people talk about anxiety, if you're like, oh, I might have had it. Nah, you don't know until, you, as soon as you've got it, you know exactly what it is. It's bloody horrible. Absolutely horrible, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Um, so thank you, Avery, that's that's really kind. Jason Tilbury with the DKK50. Hi Sid, are there any projects you won't touch? So what is DKK? It's Denmark something. I, I want to learn these currencies so I just know, but Denmark, it's not Crohn's, it was Crohn's, that's something else. Um, Hi Sid, are there any projects that you won't touch? Greeting from Denmark. Uh, funny you say that actually, I had a job today uh, courtesy of Lee from Old School Wind Cleaners, who's in the chat. Um, and it was basically a really large commercial gutter clearance thing. So there was loads of valleys, so I'd have to climb up on the roof and get to these valleys to clear all the gutters out. It's similar to the school job I did recently. Um, but this would be like pretty much all of it would be on the roof. Um, but the roof was all asbestos. So the moss that would be falling off the roof will contain asbestos. So I'd be clearing up moss that is that is contained asbestos. That'd be a risk to me, so I'd have to wear full PPE. Then I'd have to pay someone to come in to dispose of it and filter it and do all that sort of stuff. And you work out in the end with the cost that it would charge, it's not worth doing it, plus the health risk. Even though I'd be full PPE'd up, you never know something can happen, can't it? So I I sort of said, yeah, it's it, you're probably better off getting a new roof, to be honest, or finding someone that can, that can do the job. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you very much, Jason. I hope that's uh, been a worthy answer to your question. Uh, 166 in here, we're nearly at that record, guys. We're nearly there. I'm pretty sure it was 170. Christopher Stubblefield, keep on pushing with the $5 US. Thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. That's very kind of you. Uh, Lagoon Dragoon says, I've never watched power washing videos before. Sorry, I'm like slanting. Maybe I should turn the, lift this up a bit so I don't have to slant. Sorry, I was like, I was like hunching over to speak to everybody. Um, I've never watched power washing videos before, but saw yours and it was nice. I like the personality feel to, to it. And it's not just usual loud YouTuber vibe. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get away from, to be honest, because before I started my channel, I mean, I've had a lot of YouTube channels in the past. And before I started mine, I was kind of researching what other people were doing. And I was like, okay, I could probably do that a bit different or that a bit better. Um, and that's sort of what I went with. And I, I'm, I'm the same. I don't like the loud, like pumping, music constantly, you know, and you try and chill out and watch a video. So that's sort of what I tried to get away from really. And I just put songs that I would like to listen to if I was gonna watch it. Um, Widget's mom says, what's the highest you've been off the ground? Um, probably only about three stories. So what would that be like nine meters or something? The average house is six. Yeah, about nine meters really. So work wise anyway. So yeah, not not too high at all. I, I mean, trust me, within a year's time, I'll, my my business has changed so much in the last year that in the next year it's going to change some more. So it's going to be dressed. I actually messaged a guy. I don't know if he'll be in the chat or whatever he'll watch, but um, he does the rope access window cleaning. So he, I, I presume he does like skyscrapers and big flats and stuff. And I messaged him and I said, can I film a video of you at some point? So I'm probably, if he, I think he said yes. So yeah, at some point I might be hanging off the side of a building guys. So I'll probably have to do a bit of training first, but yeah. It'd be worth it for a funny video. I'll probably be cracking myself as well. So I'm not scared of heights, but I think if you sort of repel off the side of a building, I can imagine I'll get a bit nervous there. So um, Midnight Dream says, have you thought of a podcast? Good question. Um, 
I've been thinking about it. Well, it was to be fair, it was Lee again. I mean, I'm all shouting Lee out, he's a legend. But um, he came to me and says, oh, do you reckon we should do a podcast? We should set something up. So um, I've been thinking about it, but I'd like to do it a lot more varied. So I wouldn't want to keep it just cleaning related. I'd like to just sort of vary it so that we can get sort of like a wider audience into it. So, I mean, again, it's all up to you guys. It's whatever you guys want to say. Um, if you'd like to listen to me and some mates just talk about rubbish, then I'm up for it. Or if people are like, nah, forget it, just stick to your normal videos, then I'll probably do like a completely clean and focused podcast and sort of hone in on the community that I'm in um, and that I work in. But it's, again, it's up to you guys, whatever you want, because um, I'm easy. So, Anthony says, hi, Sid, what is your type of music? Uh, I've got a massive range of music. Um, I'm more into the, the rock side of things. Um, but my favourite band, well, I've got a few favourite bands. One of them's Radiohead, one of them's Tame Impala. Um, who else? Who else is my favourite bands? Metallica. I've got, it's a bit of everything, but it's more, probably a little bit more rocky than, than anything. I don't really listen to the radio much, so I don't really listen to much new music that comes out. Um, Isaac says, apart from YouTube, do you have any hobbies? I used to, I used to play guitar all the time. I used to, what else do I used to do? I used to go outside if it wasn't for work. But yeah, no, nah, I've been so busy lately that a lot of my hobbies have just sort of died down. Um, but I'm trying, I'm trying to get back into into some hobbies. Um, right, let me just scroll up a bit and just see if there's anything major I missed. I'm sorry if I miss anyone, I really am. Terry says, what did you do before you were a window cleaner? I was a care worker, that was probably my main job. I've, I've had quite a lot of jobs, but before I started cleaning windows and starting my own business, um, I was a care worker, I was a rehabilitation specialist for people with brain injuries. Um, so it was like just after they had their traumatic brain injury, they would come out of hospital, then they would come to the place that I worked. So it was like quite a lot of uh, sensitive work that we had to do. And it was basically trying to get them better in a sense, not, you know, cause they come into a place at that level, you, they're never probably gonna get better, better. But it was just trying to sort of work on a few things that we could identify. And then after I left there, I went into mental health and then I was doing mental health care work. So it was mostly schizophrenic. So there was a few people with like bipolar and things like that, but it was, I think the majority of the home was schizophrenics um, and just a few other personality disorders and stuff like that. But it's fun. I really enjoyed that to be honest, but um, for what people get paid in the care sector and stuff, it's not worth the mental strain because you can't help but take it home with you. So, um, Hello Christian, he says, hey mate, always enjoy your live streams. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks for joining the channel as well. And thank you for tuning in. Um, Shaggy says, easy Sid, you look good broski. Thank you very much, mate. Um, Christopher says, I like your editing and music choices. And I've said it before, appreciate the moments you stopped to talk about interesting aspects of the job. Yeah, that's how I started the YouTube channel was like, it was meant to be completely informative. I'd never thought of the satisfying nature of it. Um, so my aim for it was to basically uh, inform people that wanted to know how to do it and send my videos to customers, potential customers, that wanted to know what exactly was going on. So that was my plan behind the whole YouTube channel to begin with. It was never meant to have 60,000 subscribers, put it that way. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but that's why I still, I got away from it for a bit and I stopped talking about things. And then I was watching my videos back and I was like, I'm not really, doing anything I'm just cleaning something and anyone can clean something so I started to bring it back in and I thought right I'll talk about the job before I begin then I'll interject a couple of times in the video try not like ruin the satisfying thing but explain to people like what I'm actually doing because I always get the same questions why do you use sand why did you use the lance the turbo nozzle and not the flat surface cleaner why did you do this and why did you do that? So I think if I interject in the video sometimes and say, I'm doing this for this reason, it answers like a lot of questions because everything I do in the videos, I'm experienced enough now and I've done so many jobs, I, I pretty much know exactly what I'm doing. Um, so I just try and explain why I'm doing it that way because most people see someone cleaning something with a flat surface cleaner. For anyone that doesn't know, it's a thing that spins around and it's usually holding it with a handle and you're pushing it along. Um, and a lot of people say there'd be like a really weedy block paved driveway and there's weeds and moss everywhere coming out of it. And they're like, and I'll do the whole job with a lance and a turbo nozzle. And then I'll get loads of comments saying, why did you do it like that? Why didn't you use the 
push along thing, the spinny thing, the round spinny thing that a lot of people say, because it wouldn't get it up because it's not as powerful as the lance that you would use. So I'll try and interject now if I can, or at least put it on the screen as this is why I'm doing this. I'm using this for this reason, um, just to avoid some of the things like that really, because I get a lot of it. And I, I get some people sometimes thinking like, oh, you must be new because you're doing like this. And it's like, no, you're new. It's like, I know, I know what I'm doing, but it's there's a certain method to doing things. And I know, I kind of, I mean, I still make mistakes to this day, but I kind of know sort of what's going on. So I'll try and put that in the videos now, if that makes sense to everyone. But yeah, I've forgotten completely what the question was. So I hope I answered that. Um, where am I going now? Oh my God, I'm losing everyone. All right, Chris... De Lisbon. What was it? Chris from Lisbon? Was that what it was? I can't remember what the translation was. Was it Chris from Lisbon? Christina from Lisbon? That's what it is. She said, hi Sid, how are you? So hello, I hope we got that right this time. Um, Flowery says, chat, chat soon. Uh, great to see you. Thank you. And you as well, what happened? It says that you've sent something else as well. New Zealand, 399. Thank you very much. Hope you have a nice day. I'm pretty sure it's day over there. So yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Crystal Ball says, are your babies all right? I bet they're the cutest. Yeah, they're not here at the moment. They're staying at their, their great nans today, um, which I still think is mad because I never knew my great grandparents. So they're staying at their great grandma's house today, which is awesome. I love stuff like that. Where they get to spend time with her. Um, hello, Greg. Hello, Brian. Hello, Fahim. Fahim says, what pressure wash did you use? I use a Slipstream Pro 20 from Spinnaclean. So S-P-I-N-A, clean, um, Google them, and then you can have a look at their pressure washers. They're really good, really recommend. Um, uh, Vamp Kimmy says, care worker. I reckon that explains the calm way you speak, probably. I actually, to be fair, I, I credit that job because that was my first ever proper job. I got it, I started my first shift at a care home on the day I turned 18, because you have to be 18 to work in places like that. Um, yeah, and that was my first ever proper job, and I was a care worker then for about two plus years, two and a half years maybe. Um, and I was quite shy up until that point. Like, unless I was out on a night out and I had a couple of drinks, I wouldn't be shy anymore, but just me being me on a normal day, I was quite a reserved person. So when I started that job, again, I was really shy, but then you sort of get used to speaking to people that are vulnerable. And I always treated people as if they were like my grandparents and stuff like that. And it helped me build up like a lot of confidence really. So I do credit that to how I was able to transition into running a business because it became then very easy for me to just walk up to a door and knock on a door because it's gonna be, a, most likely it's gonna be a normal person that answers, not someone who's got dementia or a schizophrenic who might try and, you know, who might wanna kill me at that moment or punch me. So yeah, I credit that job, those jobs that I had really for a lot of my uh, success. Um, in starting a business. Uh, Mulberry Kate with RUB400, you are amazing. Thank you for the sticker, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I really, really do appreciate it, thank you. JK says, how long you been pressure washing for? I answered this earlier, but it was, it's been about a year and a half at the most. It's not been too long. Um, Afa BK says, hang on, let me just have a drink, I'm thirsty. I suffer from anxiety as well. Your videos do wonders. Um, they're not just relaxing. I don't know why they do. It takes all the thousand thoughts in my head and my brain, which relaxes. It's really nice. Thank you. Awesome. That's my goal. So again, I wish I found something like that, which could take some stuff out of my head sometimes because it would be great. So I'm glad I can sort of help people do that is I kind of know how you feel when you get sort of a bit of a stress relief where you can just tune out even for a bit. Um, cause that's the main thing when you're struggling with stuff, you kind of full on 24 hours a day. You, when you're trying to go to sleep, you can't sleep. And there's like, hear your heartbeats in your ears or a ringing. It's like, oh, it drives me absolutely mental sometimes when it's bad. So I'm, I'm glad I can tune that out for a bit. So Brava says about the podcast idea, maybe make it a podcast with other, other aff affiliated types of jobs, like people in plumbing, gardening and carting. Yeah. Great idea. I did see something not too long ago and it was, I can't remember the channel now. Um, but they said they were going to do something similar and it was like people in like general tradesman industry they were basically starting a podcast to, uh, and they were going to interview people and stuff but I've heard nothing of it since I don't know if they got I'm not sure if I've subscribed to the channel or not but I thought good idea um, so yeah I mean I might start some. it would be good it just depends if, if people want to listen to it I'll be I'll be up for it 
Divek says, having some apple juice. No, unfortunately not. Hi from Israel. Sean says, hello, Sid. Hello, Sean. John Fisher says, have you said what cameras you use for your videos? I pretty much just use a GoPro now. I used to use my phone and a GoPro to get a few angles, but now I just move the GoPro around all the time. So it's a GoPro Hero 9 Black, the newer one, but there's a new one coming out soon. So I might buy that and then I'll have two GoPros um, and then I can get some better angles. Dan says, thanks for all the awesome content, Sid. Is there a particular thing that made you get into exterior cleaning? Um, well, I started, I've told this story a few times, but I started working with my best mate in the world, Jess. Um, I started working for his dad. His dad owned like quite a big window cleaning business. So I worked for him for a couple of years, about two years. Um, and I thought, you know what, man, I'm gonna try it by myself. I spoke to him, I sorted everything out, and I was like, right, I'm gonna try my own business. And it failed massively, but I've, I'm too stubborn to give in, basically. I don't wanna, I don't wanna call things quits. So I ended up moving. I moved to moved in with my dad and then he quit his job and we went all in started and it was a really good business we did really well my dad still runs most of that business now but then me and the missus had uh she fell pregnant with our first child so then i moved again and i've moved again since then and then finally i thought i'm not setting up another window cleaning round because i just keep seeming to move and with window cleaning you kind of need to stay in the same area so you can keep hold of you around but i was just always moving constantly so i thought right what can I do where I can earn money? And if I have to move tomorrow, I can still earn money. And it was one off jobs. So pressure washing once a year, if you're lucky for each property, gutter clearing, roof cleaning, roof cleaning is like a once full stop pretty much. Uh, once in 10 years, maybe that you'd have to do that again. So I thought I'm gonna try that. And then I tried it. I failed basically miserably for the first six months but i persisted and then eventually the word of mouth took off so that's pretty much how i did it so and then i started making youtube videos and then here i am now um right where am i 123 thumbs up so thank you everyone 6581 punk sid's dad is a window cleaner i think it started from there yeah he's got it there you go see you guys man you yeah you listen don't you Shaggy said, you're going to the expo on the 25th? Yes, I'll definitely be there. I'm going on the 25th and I'm staying over on that night. So if anyone else is going, I presume we're gonna try and find a pub or something that's nearby so we can all go for a beer and stuff, uh, which would be wicked. It'd be nice to meet some here. Uh, where we are. Dave says, I'll be up for a podcast with other trades and YouTube channels. Yeah, mate, I'm up for it. So yeah, I'll definitely, we'll get that in the works. I just need to find the format because I know YouTube has got like a decent streaming platform, but I think there's a few things we'd need to like download. And so I could see, we could, I could film it and everyone would be on the screen and, you know, with face cams and stuff and make it good. Because I wouldn't want to just do like a live thing because people ain't going to see it. I'd like to do a live thing and then have a video of the live stream afterwards. If that makes sense. So I'll figure something out and get it done. Jack Jones says, Sid, how you doing? I'm setting up on my own and you have given me the inspiration. Um, thank you, only hope it works out. It's up to you, buddy. It's, it literally is up to you if it works out or not. It helps if you don't have much financial stress in your life, if you've got no kids, uh, a missus that doesn't need nice things 24-7. Um, it definitely helps if you don't have them stresses, but if you do, you can still do it, it's just persistent. You gotta persist, you gotta put your all into it. And I, sometimes I find if you've got things kind of on the back, if you're kind of like half a foot in the door, um, say you've got like a part-time job and it's like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? You kind of see how it goes. It just doesn't work out because you've always got a safety net. It's only when you get rid of the safety net that you really see what your true potential is and you get like that surge of motivation and then you start going mad. So, but whatever situation you're in, just do it smart and good luck to you. Um, where am I? We can all have apple juice, yeah. What up? Have you gotten customers from YouTube videos and not word of mouth? I've had loads from YouTube videos recently, to be fair. Um, it's been doing really well. Um, a lot of the jobs that you've actually seen recently, not the past two videos, but I think probably about the three videos before that, I think have all been YouTube jobs. Um, so it's people that have watched the video and and sort of said, like, hey, I've seen your videos, can you come and give me a quote? Um, I'm getting a lot now that, because I wasn't in a position a while ago to be able to just willy-nilly travel around the country and just do whatever, because um, I was quite busy where I am now, but now it's coming towards winter now, so it's work, local work tends to slow down a bit. Um, and it's why a lot of people in my business, they kind of take the winter off, but 
Um, I can't really afford to be doing that. So I'm getting a lot of jobs that are coming up from like Wales, Scotland, London, places like that. And normally if I was really busy here, I'd be like, yeah, I can do it, but you're gonna be looking at like a month or two wait. Um, but now it's kind of thing like, yeah, give me two weeks and I'll be sort of over there. So I should have some, if things all go to plan, I should have some wicked, wicked jobs coming up. Um, where are we now? 360 video would be fun, especially on the roof. Yeah, I might try that at some point, actually. Um, right, just passing. Love the, watching the videos. Your kids are adorable. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. My kids are very cute. I'm missing them now. Josh Bailey says, thanks for following me back on Instagram, mate. Didn't need to do that. Love your content. Gets me through working from home. Cheers, Josh. Well, thanks for following me, man. I appreciate that. It's funny, I get people now and it's like, it's like, oh no, it's, you know, oh, it's that guy from YouTube, isn't it? Oh, he followed me back. So now I'm, yo, guys, I'm completely normal. I still, I genuinely, I've said it a million times, but I still feel like I've got just 1,000 subs. So don't think that I'm a big shot or anything, because I'm definitely not. Timothy says, big day from D&J in the chat. Yeah, man, those boys are a legend. Huge shout out to D&J Projects. Absolutely wicked channel. They're completely different from mine in the fact that it's all sort of construction based. And it's a lot of residential um, sort of homework, construction works at home. So they do loads of stuff and I'm gonna be collabing very soon. I'm gonna head down and clean some of their equipment for them, which will be a really cool collab of a video. So yeah, they're great guys and they've got a booming, I think they just hit 30,000. So congrats D&J Projects on 30,000 subs because that's a hell of an achievement, it really is. Um, where are we? Brian says, quality sir, thank you, Brian. You've done a great job, thank you. All right, I think I'm caught up again. Sorry, guys, I have genuinely missed so much. Yes, Chris, this is about referring to you. I've never imagined myself watching pressure one videos, so relaxing. Hello, hello, Hillary from Toronto, especially the Mossy Rooftop. See, there's not, it's funny on YouTube, there's not really a big sort of like viewership for the roof cleaning I do, so I, I mean, I do roofs all the time, but I don't film them, so if you see like, if I put a video up of a pressure washing job and there's been like five days since a video for the next pressure washing job, I've probably done like two roof cleans in that time, but I just don't really video them anymore because they just, they don't perform as well as sort of other jobs do. So I just don't tend to put them on. But, um, but if you guys, you know, want to see them, I'll, I'll put them on. I'll put the interesting ones on, but like your normal typical house, I just don't, I don't really bother anymore, but, um, Eddie's Gun91 says, I used to be a client in a house full of people with autism and we had support workers like you. Yeah, man, it's, it was, it's a crazy place to work and, and be. And it's why I always thought, I was like, if I've had a stressful day, these people have actually had to live there. So, like, I can't moan, I can't go home and whinge and moan about the hard day I've had when they've got people that are literally living in that situation with 10 of the people that they don't necessarily like, that they don't want to live with, but they have to because they're in a home because they're not safe to be living on their own. So um, yeah, it's all about, again, the way, if anyone's a support worker out there, if anyone's thinking of going into the care sector and stuff like that, the best thing that anyone ever told me of anything like that was treat the clients, no matter who they are, no matter how they act, if they want to kill you at one moment, it doesn't matter, treat them as if it was your nan or your granddad, and then you'll be, a perfect care worker there's no worries about it and that's literally what kept me completely completely sound and I was always felt like I was really good at my job I always left the job thinking I've, I've done decent there and I've done um I've done them justice so um all right let me try and catch up again definitely Dex was the steep driveway a YouTube referral the missus drives past those houses she had to drive past to go and check out you <laughs> I hope I did a good job man I hope she said I did, did a good job um, they're li literally, that house there, opposite, there's a big new build estate, that's where I live. Um, and I've, I literally drive past and walk past that house nearly every day. And I've, I've been here for two years. I've knocked on that house once before, two years ago. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people answered, but they said no. And then I thought, oh, you know, I'll try it again. So I don't think I was pressure washing that thing. I knocked them for like gutter cleaning or window cleaning or something. And I knocked them again, and it was a new couple that had just moved in. And, um, and I said, hey, I'd really love to clean your driveway. So I just live literally up there. Um, I said, I'll do it at a, a cheaper rate, you know, if I could, if you let me film a video for it. Because I knew it would be a good video. Because, it's, a, you know, I like to find things unusual. Um, I was talking about it earlier on one of the groups that I'm on. Um, 
and it's you know you've got to keep things fresh if you're gonna you know try and make good videos so I always try and find things that are a little bit unusual or a little bit a first for me or a first that would be on YouTube for example so something like a really steep driveway or something that's so overgrown it's older than I am you know it's never been clean kind of thing I try and look for things like that so if I find jobs like that I do them and I barely make any money on it because it's just worth it for me to tr just try and film a video and if I put it on YouTube if the video does well great I'll make the money back that I probably would have charged for the job anyway if it doesn't do well, oh well. So that's the way I see it. Um, and that video, the first video anyway, the second video hasn't, the part two of that video hasn't done as well, but that's fine. Um, but the first video did really well and it made the money that I probably would have charged that job in the first place, but I did it really cheap because it was a really cheap over the road anyway. So I really didn't mind, honestly. Um, Steadman, oh, Steadman's here with a 10, 10 pounds, man. I think that's the, that might be one of the first actual UK donations on the channel, I think. I'm trying to think. I think it actually probably is, but 10 quid, man. Thanks, Stedman. He's an absolute legend. Big shout out to Stedman75. He's been here for ages. Um, so he's an absolute legend. So thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Aiden Mathers says, is this your dream job? Um, let me think. I think owning a business was my dream job because I always said I'd do it. I've, I've said for years now, I said I'm going to own a, my own business and it'll be a good business. Um, so I think in a way, yes. I'm not sure if this is definitely what I thought I would be doing. I don't know, but I'm happy doing it anyway. Um, I mean, to be fair, I did always want to be an actor. I've always wanted to be an actor. So maybe that's something I can think about in the future. But it's funny, I had a... A casting thing, this is this is a little fun tip about me guys, um, I had a casting thing for Peaky Blinders which is a UK show, um, it was a, a really big hit in the UK actually, uh, the Peaky Blinders, um, and I had a lot of, there was a while ago anyway, I was doing a bit of modelling a while ago, many years ago now, and I had a casting call to basically go to Peaky Blinders, and I ended up turning it down because I had to work, I was doing my care job at the time, so I turned it down, I said, Oh no, yeah, whatever. You know, I didn't know what Peaky Blinders was, so I was like, it was nothing then. So I said, yeah, whatever. And it's funny at the time I had the exact hairstyle that the guys in the show have now. Um, so I probably, you know, I don't know, I probably wouldn't have done it, but it was specifically they wanted people from Birmingham with a kind of Birmingham accent. I mean, I can put one on if I have to. But um, yeah, so I didn't choose to do it, and then it turns out it ends up being one of the biggest hits in the UK, one of the biggest shows ever. So I always think, uh, I always wanted to be an actor. What if I had went to that? casting I had got the job who knows what I'd be doing now but I'm uh yeah I mean to be honest I always wanted to make videos as well so the YouTubers has, has definitely ticked off a bucket list I mean this is already you know, I mean this is already something 60,000 subscribers how many people could say that you know in a in a lifetime that 60,000 people have watched them do something so it's already a bucket list tick for me it's amazing so I've already done it um Right, where am I? Uh, all right, don't want to miss too many people. What direction do window cleaners clean them? Up and down or side to side? A bit of everything, really. You kind of do a bit of a weird motion. It's a bit all over the place. Um, Chris from Lisbon says, Sid, do you do clean swimming pools too? Do you like it? I would love to. I've, honestly, I'm hunting for it. I've, I just There's nowhere here who's got swimming pools. Um, or a dirty one anyway. So as soon as one comes up, guys, you'll be the first to know. Alicia says, that school playground was fire. When was it done? Uh, I've done a few, but if you're talking about the most recent one, I think it was two months ago, I think. Um, I love doing those jobs. I've got another one coming up very soon, next month, early next month, so look forward to that. Stedman says, I missed the message, but thanks for great content. Well, I just said thank you very much, mate, and I really appreciate you being here, so thank you, buddy. Sophia says, hello from Devon. Love Devon. Um, Georgia Knight says we're learning so much from you. Thank you, Georgia. Um, Shaggy says my missus is a carer for people with mental health issues and my old dear is a manager for Mencap. Wicked, there you go. Yeah, it's um, it's a stressful job to be in, but it's definitely rewarding. Um, Haunted by Wolves is here. Sid, I finally made one of your lives. Hello, mate. Nice to see you here. It's about time. Um... Hillary says 182. Oh, did we? Oh, I missed it. We must have beat a record. Yeah, wicked. I th I'm pretty sure it was 170. So, yeah, awesome. We beat a record there. We're on 165 at the moment. So, thank you, everybody. 
Uh, I've been going for nearly 50 minutes. So usually I do an hour, so I might just do an hour. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, where am I? See, I'm seeing a lot of familiar names there. I'm sorry if I miss anyone. There is a guy on YouTube, Saving Graves, or something similar, who does clean grows. Stone grows really old. I've got on power washing. Yeah, I really want to do that. I've messaged, like, so many churches, guys, honestly. Um, completely free of charge, but I think they have to go through the church and then the family and then stuff like that. So it's quite a tricky process, really, to get them done. Um, Rob says, hello, hello, Rob. How you going, mate? You all right? Crystal, what's your birth month? I think you've broken your live record. Yeah, I think I did. I think I just did, actually, yeah. Um, April, I, I was born in. So I'm an Aries. Um, e Lidl, do you perhaps know, oh, with five euros as well, do you perhaps know Josh O'Connor? I know his family's also from Gloucester. Great job. I don't know him personally, but I've never, I only lived in Gloucester for a short while, um, but my brother may know him, so I'll, I'll uh, if he watches this, he might message me and say if he knows him or not. Um, Lydia's here, hello babe, me, mum and Nana watching, hello everybody, how's everyone doing? Sorry I got to you so late, when did you send that message? 22, 20, so I was about six minutes late, so yeah, sorry about that, hello everyone. Um, after BK, is there a guy on YouTube, oh yeah, I've just read that one, sorry. Car guy, hi from Australia, it says me and the girls miss you, I miss you all as well. It's only been about eight hours, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I miss you already. I'll see you in a few days. Sarah says, that's what I used to say to new care workers, don't treat them like they're your grandparents. It's all about respect, it really is. You make it, as soon as someone said that, I can't remember who it was that said it to me, but it made all the sense and it, it, it kept me in check because it's a stressful job, there's no doubt about it, especially when you've got like, me being one of the only guys in the place that I was working at, uh, you get put with the worst of the worst, you get put with the people that are really aggressive and uh, really volatile. Um, so it can be hard sometimes when someone's trying to, you know, someone's trying to kill you <laughs> and they don't know who you are and it's like you've just woken them up from a sleep and it's like, who the hell are you? Get out of my house. But they're thinking they're 40 years in the past. It's, you know, it can be hard to sort of like take a step back for a minute. But yeah, you've got to imagine it's it's someone that you love and, and you can treat them always with respect then. Um, right. Where am I? Rob says you would have to work on your Brummie accent, I know. Yeah, I never got the Brummie, it was my mum slapping it out at me when I was a kid, so I never developed the uh, the Brummie accent too much. I've got it a little bit, but not too much. Craig's here, hi Sid, great videos, good to see you smashing it, inspiring the people. Cheers Craig, hope you're well mate, hope the new business venture's going well as well. Um, Mark says, I just like watching you clean stuff, it's so good to chill too. Cheers Mark, appreciate that. 6501 Punk says, you can find swim pools on Google Maps satellite view. I know, yeah, I just, I don't know, I feel a bit weird, like, stalking a, stalking a property from a satellite and then going around and knock on the ice and can I clean your pool? But I don't know, it will come up, it will come up at some point. Oh, Chris Choi says, love from Los Angeles, don't come here to act, it's a cesspool with 100 US dollars, thank you very much, that's awesome, thank you very much. Yeah, I would love to, I would love to, but yeah, I've, I've heard the, I've heard the rumours and I've heard what it's like over there, but thank you very much. You never know, guys. I might get picked up one day. I might get scared for something. And I'll be an actor for a bit. I'll still make the YouTube videos there. Uh, Shaggy says, you know, I know Birmingham, mate. I watch your channel. Haha, <laughs> but what's your stomping ground? Uh, it's. I suppose it's... I mean, to be honest, I go everywhere. I don't... With the work I do now, I don't really have, like, a an area. So it's like a lot of guys, you start a business up, and then it's like you see new people coming into the area, and it's like, oh, crap, who's this new guy? You see some new adverts coming in on the, the the sites and the buy and sell groups and stuff, but it's, I'm, I can pretty much go anywhere, so it just, I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. So it's so why I've pretty much made friends with all the competition around here as well, and I've ended up, so I'd recommend to anyone um, who's running a business, just make friends. Instead of like worrying about the competition, just make friends with them, because despite what you think someone may be, they've always got jobs they don't like. They've, they might have jobs that they're scared of, that they don't want to do. Um, and then you can come along and do them because it might not be a worry to you. So I'd recommend making friends with everyone because it does work. Um, right, Sophia says maybe you can end your end up with your own cleaning products if there's such a thing because you're a reluctant a lot of times for good reason. Yeah, the market's kind of cornered a bit. I would like to sort of figure some things out and put my own name on stuff, but 
gosh, it's a long, it's a long way down the road because there's so many people that are better at that stuff than I am. It's just I feel like I'd be a fraud almost promoting something because I wouldn't know. I'd have to really research the the makeup of it because I wouldn't want to put anything out that would potentially go wrong. So, um, Mark says I'm a vicar, no gravestones though. Damn it, Mark. Well, if you get any, if you know of any, mate, let me know and I'll, I'll come and do the whole lot for free. A cat says, I don't know what to say, but I want to participate. Hi, all. Hello, thanks for joining in. Um, Oliver says, love the channel, keep it up, mate. Thank you very much, Oliver. Thanks for tuning in. Everyone's saying hello to Lee from Old School Mini Cleaners. It's nice to see. Uh, Chris Christian says, it's always nice to hear your calming voice after a stressed working day. Well, thank you very much, Christian. And thanks for being a joiner on the channel as well. I really appreciate that. Um, Mark says, my church has a cenotaph. Is that how you say that, cenotaph? An easy clean. Mate, any of my previous videos, just check the description. Um, there'll be an email link at the bottom. Just send me an email and I'll come and get it sorted for you. I would absolutely love to do it. Um, Chris says, hi Sid, how's your phone? Does it still work? Yeah, this is what I'm streaming off now. It's absolutely fine. I, cannot, I still can't believe uh, that it survived all of that. I, I genuinely cannot believe it. Hello Craig, how's it going mate? Coming some rouge late. David Hall says, great videos, just ticking, just the ticket during COVID. Oh, well, I hope you're not self-isolating mate, but if you are, get better soon. Um, Tomb Kiwa says, from Busada, I've never even heard of that, so that must be a million miles away, so thank you for tuning in. So Brewer says, you can be an actor on YouTube, just come dress up on a job, might be funny. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> Um, Shaggy says my name's Lee too good to know Shaggy I remember that so hello Lee instead of Shaggy Kate says hi Sid looking good hello Kate how are you nice to see you here um, so Lee instead of Shaggy says Roman Road Little Aston etc loads of pools up there you know what was I working on there not too long ago I'm pretty sure I was Lee will know that anyway Lee from Old School Winter Cleans anyway not Lee from Shaggy but Lee from Old School Winter Cleans will know um, Neil says, dogs on a long walk, still listening and walking. Oh, nice nighttime walk, mate. Lovely. Dennis says, awesome videos, mate. Just found your channel a few days ago. Currently recovering after surgery and benched your binge. I presume that's binged your most recent videos. Thank you very much, Dennis. Appreciate that, buddy. Hello, Brian. Hello, Howie. Never beat them in that issue. Join them. Always rocking another for jobs I don't like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. It's always good to make competition because I get a lot of jobs coming that I'm like, oh, I don't really want to do that one. So it's, instead of me just flat out refusing it, you can pass it off to someone else. And then, you know, if they're a same person, they'll chuck you a few quid in commission anyway, so. Um, Sophia says, you're just brilliant. Well, thank you, Sophia, that's very kind. Radha says, late to the party. Hello, Radha, thanks, thanks for joining in and joining the channel as well. David Boy's here. Everyone say hello to David Boy Price. Sarah says, do you know any women in your trade? Um, trying to think. I know there's one, I think there's one person, there's not many, I think there's one person on Instagram I follow, I think she does gutter clearing or something, I think, I'm not totally sure, I think she does, I, honestly I can't remember her by name though, um, so it's a, yeah, it's a male dominated trade that's for sure, I don't know many. I've seen some female window cleaners, window cleaners anyway in the past, there's more female window cleaners than there is female exterior cleaners, put it that way, um, it's very male dominated. Gwen Owen says, hi Sid, love watching your videos. So interesting, you've got a lovely manner and great attitude. What do you do and how do you treat your customers? Oh, great attitude to what you do and how you treat your customers. Well, thank you, Gwen. It's, uh, yeah, I think when you work for yourself and if you're the, the face behind the business, in a sense, um, you have to. If you don't, then you're not gonna get recommended. And I find a lot of guys say, oh, I've been going for two years. Why am I not getting any referrals? Why am I not getting any customers? And I think it's that. I think it's just a bit of like, in a sense, knock door run. You go, you turn up, you do the job and you run. You don't spend any time chatting and getting to know the customer. Um, and I think it's important to, to do that really because it, it does help to for them to trust you and then recommend you to other people. So I think Gwen again with eight seventeen ninety nine pounds. Well, thank you very much. Man, you guys don't have to do this. Honestly, thank you very much. It's really kind. I still can't believe people even donate. It's madness. Well, thank you very much for everyone that has. Um, 
Eddie's Gun 91 says, my name is Lauren, you can call me that if you want. I always thought Eddie, Eddie's Gun was a man, so hello Lauren, thank, thank you, sorry for presuming you're a man this whole time. Uh, Maddie B says, hello from New York City, love the content. Um, so, so good, always look forward to the next one. Thank you very much, I've got such a good community here, haven't I? Um, Eva, hi from Spain, have you ever tried nitric acid to remove the most persistent stains? I haven't, I, if anything's got acid in the name, I'm just like, I'll stay away from it if I can. So I'll use everything else other than something with acid in it. Um, and it's mainly because I always think, because I work with chemicals daily, literally every day I'm using some sort of chemical on something. Um, and I try to reduce the chemical use as much as possible. So it's why I always say in my videos, there's no point like splashing chemicals on everything if you don't need to do it. For me, coming from a person that has to use it pretty much most days, if I find an opportunity when I don't need to do it, I don't want to do it because it's not good for the environment. Um, and it's the same thing with climbing up a ladder every day of your life. Eventually, no matter how safe you are and what you do, something will go wrong. So especially with things with acid in the name, um, I just think knowing me on my bad day when that one thing does go wrong that is literally out of my control, oh, it's a split hose and acid sprays on me and then I've got a chemical burn. So it's, it's one of the things, if I don't have to, I won't. Um, but if I do, I will, and then I'll be extremely careful, like every time, you know, whenever you guys see me use any chemicals, you'll never see me without a mask, you'll never see me without goggles, you know, you'll never even see bleach stains on my uniform because I'm that careful that I don't even get splashback because I'm super careful with it, so, um, and it's worth, especially if you're working in that sector and you're cleaning every day of your life, it's worth being as careful as possible because I don't want to die at 30 years old or 40 years old from some respiratory illness that's been caused from me inhaling crap every day of my life. So yeah, there's my two cents. Um, Chris from Lisbon says, Sid, you could do a partnership with your brother. He fixes cars and you clean them. Yeah, man, I would do that. I'm, I'm waiting for, he needs to find like a barn find. That's a big thing on YouTube. A really old classic car in a barn, it's filthy. I'll fly over to Germany, I'll clean it and then he'll fix it up. And that would be the collab of the century then, wouldn't it? Uh, Will Wonka says, love the videos, thank you. Alison says, hi Sid, love your videos. Thank you, Alison. Kaylee Martin says, hey, videos are great. Keep it the good work. We would great to see you do pools. I'd love to. Guys, if anyone knows of a pool for me to clean, I would absolutely love to. I've got no idea how to do it, so I'll have to hit up the pool guy. And I'll say, hey, man, I don't think you know who I am, but I need your help. Um... Sarah says, people by people. Benjamin says, hi, a top job. What's the longest you've traveled for your job? Uh, I'm trying to think, about two hours, to be honest with you. I'm willing to go further, but um, obviously the further out you go, the higher you have to raise the price just to cover the staying over, the fuel, things like that. But it's about three hours. I mean, between like one to three hours is like kind of, there's not too much of a price gap. But if it was like five hours, for example, I'd have to sort of slap on a bit more, obviously. Um, well, Wonka says, off topic, how did you get over your sinusitis? I'm going through hell right now. I got some uh, antibiotics. That was because I had it for like a week and a half or like nearly two weeks or something and it was just killing me. So I finally, I got on the phone to the doctors and I, uh, the 111, what is it, like not emergency, but close enough to the emergency. Um, and I got some antibiotics because mine just was not, was not going, it was horrible. So I feel your pain, it's crap. <laughs> Um, I work as an equestrian centre as a horse trainer and I teach kids. It's a lovely job, absolutely lovely job. Um, Leon says, from Canberra, hello, all the way from there. Harry says, treat your customers like friends, treat their property like it's your own. Word of mouth is a powerful thing. Exactly that, you've got the formula. Ollie says, how do you work out how much you charge? Uh, most jobs by meter squared, some jobs just off, just because I've been doing it so long, I can kind of imagine how long it would take. Um, but if there's a job that I'm unsure of, which if you knew, you're probably unsure of most jobs, figure out a metre squared, or if it's guttering, for example, you're clearing out some guttering, do it off metre, so it might be three pound per every single metre of guttering, you might charge three pound to clear that metre, so if you've got 30 metres of guttering, that'd be 90 pounds, um, which would be roughly your average house, um, well, a bit over your average house, really. Um, all right, what is this? Exterior clean expert says, Sid, why are you not quoting for resanding? And do you have a window cleaning around? 
Um, I do quote, if I'm, if I'm doing a job that's not for YouTube, then I'll quote for Resanding. Um, I mean, most of the jobs you see, like most of the job, pressure washing jobs that are block paving that I've put on YouTube, I have actually resanded. I just haven't put it in a video because it can sometimes take like two days for me to, for the weather to be good enough for me to go and resand the job. And I'm thinking I haven't uploaded a video for a week, so I kind of want a video out kind of thing. Um, so I just don't put, bother putting the resanding in because it makes like, I go out on a Tuesday to film a video. I'm thinking I'm having a video up Tuesday night. So when it's like, oh, I've finished the job, I just haven't resanded yet, but it's raining now for the next three days, so now I won't be able to resand until Saturday, for example, and I'm thinking I'm not waiting until Saturday to upload this job because I could be filming other jobs in the meantime and then putting them up as well. So, um, but yeah, I do usually resand, I just don't show it. I did on the last job because everyone was asking for it. So um, if everyone wants me to continue putting the resand in the videos, I will. It just means that there might be a bit more of a gap in some of the videos. Um, I'm sorry mate, what was that other question again? I get on a tangent, I forget what I'm saying. Um, let me find you, it shouldn't be too far up. And do you have a winter cleaner? No, I've got, well, I've got a very small winter cleaner round, um, which I've been neglecting quite badly, but I'm building a new one soon, so this will be a new section of videos that will be coming out. Um, it'll be playlisted on its own little series. I'm starting a brand new business soon, so look forward to that. There'll be an announcement and the first video for that. Um, probably in like a month or something or a couple of weeks. Um, ST Mary says, what's a good cheap jet cleaner for under 150? Um, you're probably best off just going with your car chair. You're not gonna be able to do, like, you're not gonna be able to run a business off it that way, but you can do your first few jobs with it. Um, or if it's just for home use, it will be it will be fine for home use. For anyone that says that you can't clean your own drive with a car chair is lying because you can, it just takes ages, that's all. So if you've got a big drive, it might take you a few days, if you've got like a massive drive, but it's fine, you know, you'll get it done. Um, Rob says, do you put weed killer down before you wash the dry wires? You meant to, if you're gonna be using the surface cleaner, but I just don't bother. And especially if you're putting hypo down afterwards anyway, it just kind of kills the weeds off, so yeah. Um, right, I'm gonna be headed off soon, because I've got an early start tomorrow, so I'm getting quite tired, but um, Leo Leo says, you worry that you're using too much water in your job? Um, it's not too much of an issue um, in the UK, to be honest. We don't have any water shortages or anything, and all the water that flows down the drains gets recycled back and all of that sort of stuff. So um, I get that a lot on the videos, and people say, like, oh, you're wasting water. Um, it's not really an issue here, to be honest. We're an island, we're surrounded by it. So, yeah, it's not really a worry for us. Um, where am I? Fly to Portugal, we have Paul's here or no? I'd love to, I'd love to. Um, James says, Bedford. Florida, so you need to go to bed. Yeah, I'm, I am getting tired now, to be fair. Um, right, I think I've answered up to there. Yes, I have. Right, hi there, I'm 15, starting my own pressure washing business. Any advice? Um, I think I said it earlier, but just show your face, become the face of your own business. Um, try and be as professional as possible, but sometimes the non-professional approach works better, and it might work better, especially if you're younger as well. So even handwritten cards, going up to the door and just saying, hi, I'm so-and-so, I'm 15, I'm starting a pressure washing business. I'll do you a great deal on your driveway. If you trust me to clean it, I can start on Tuesday, Wednesday, th you know, whatever and then you'll probably get a lot more, you'll get people paying less, but you'll get a lot more work, and then when you start getting the business in, you can start bumping up your prices because you can afford to do it, in a sense. But if you're just doing it to pay for your school or things like that, um, you know what I mean? I, I hear a lot of things about the $99 guy in America that's cleaning driveways, but if you're cleaning a driveway in a couple of hours and you're charging $99 for it, you're making good money, so who cares? So don't worry about don't worry about what other people are saying. Just focus, stay in your own lane, and focus what you're doing. That'd be my best advice to you. Um, and I mean, you'll figure out how to make good money, you know, as you as you get more experienced anyway. So um, money out there for everyone. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Do you, you do a great job? It must take a while to get repeat business. Yeah, it's the struggle of. I mean, repeat business is just like, it's not a myth, but for my type of business, but it's not not guaranteed. You can't start a pressure washing business and then guarantee that you're gonna, say if you do 50 pressure washing jobs in three months, you're not gonna get 50 jobs for next year. It just doesn't work that way, so. Um, 
I don't worry about repeat business, but I know a lot of people set up like CRMs, like customer relation management, and they'll like repeatedly message the customers every three months and say, oh, do you need this doing again? Do you need that doing again? I don't bother. It's probably the smart thing to do. I just don't bother doing it. Um, but don't listen to me because I'm not like a business mogul. So I just know what kind of works for me and I'm just doing my own thing. Um, right, where am I? Sorry if I miss anyone. Ollie says, how much do you charge per square meter? Anywhere between three and 450. But if I'm doing a YouTube video, sometimes it's less. If I find a job that's like, I know it's gonna be really cool to show you guys, I'll do it less. And there's, again, there's a lot of jobs I do for free, so. Um, yeah, but I'd say business-wise, between three and 450, depending on the surface. It's a really easy surface to clean, no resanding. I'd go in at three. So if it's 100 square meters, 300 pounds, it's gonna take you a couple of hours to get that done. So it's a, it's a good day's wage. Hard surfaces, 450, with resanding, you know, etc. But it depends on your rate as well. It depends on the sort of area you live in, how much money is in the area as well. TPC says, hello, congratulations on all the success. You deserve it. Quick question, how long does an average video take to edit? Um, and how much space? Um, it's usually about, I don't know, about 100 gigabytes of footage from my GoPro. It takes me about three hours to edit it. Um, but I'm pretty quick, to be honest. Like, I can kind of get them out really fast. It's because I've spent, like, half of my life editing videos. But um, if I was going to put it from a newbie perspective, I know my brother is with my brother's videos it can take him a couple of days to edit it sort of on and off so that's sort of what i'd expect so you'd be looking at like if you, i mean if you get yourself like a 32 gigabyte sd card and your gopro whatever you're using that'll be enough to film like probably like a couple of days of footage really and it might take you a day or two to edit the video and get it up if you that's if you're going like super keen and trying to sync the music to the you know to the frames and you know all that sort of stuff but it's up to you how keen you want to go with it um, everyone say good night. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, I'll probably call it there, guys. Sorry if I missed anyone. Dave says, don't get hit the like button before you go. Yeah, 200 likes on this, man. That's a record. Hitting records, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, if you came to our roof, I'll totally make you a bacon sandwich. Yo, let me know your address. I'll come and do the roof. Um, all right, brilliant. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm really sorry if I missed anyone. I went with the Wilkes 750. Yeah, the Wilkes is good. Good start machine. Just look after it. That's the main thing with it. It gets a lot of bad press, but mine lasted a year with quite heavy use. You've got to look after it though, because it is just like a cheap Chinese engine. So you need to make sure it's all screwed up before you start every job. Make sure all the bolts are tight. Keep it freshly oiled, all sorts of stuff like that. So just treat it like it's about to blow up at any point and then it'll be okay for a year. That's how I treated it. Um, and it did literally last a good year of solid use. So it's not a bad, for 400 quid, it's a great machine. Uh, all right, I'll answer a couple more. Camden says, I work 10 hours per day from home, so it's nice to have them going to keep me company. Thank you very much, appreciate that. First gen, so have a great night, thank you. Any tips on, Terra Kill says, any tips on getting customers for a startup? Three months in, and only got four customers, 800 flyers down. Yeah, keep the flyers, keep doing the flyers, but knock the doors. So actually canvas the door instead of just putting a flyer through the letterbox, especially if you, if you walk up to a property, this is if you, I presume you're pressure washing, if you walk up to a property and it's a really dirty drive, don't just put the flyer through because you're potentially wasting a sale there. Well, it's, it's not wasting it because in six months time, they might go, yeah, to be fair, we need that done. Oh, where was that flyer from six months ago? But if you knock the door and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, uh, I was just walking past, I'm just, I've just done a couple of jobs in the area, just wondered if you'd be interested in having your driveway cleaned. They'll be like, they're either gonna go yes or no, so what are you losing? If you would have put that flyer through anyway, that no is still a no. But if you would have put that flyer through and not knocked the door, it could have been a no, but if you had knocked the door, it would have turned into a yes, if you know what I mean. So I know it's weird, but I'm a big advocate for door knocking. So always knock the door, especially if you can see something on the property that needs cleaning, knock that door, speak to the customer, and then offer to clean the thing that you wanna clean. Um, that's my best advice and it works wonders. So it really does. Um, so I hope that's answered your question. Uh, Night Neil, still uh, here in Mexico. A cat says, uh, it's getting like, what time is it? 10.51, right, I better go to bed soon, guys. Good night, Donna. Shader Green says, what do you use record with? I use a GoPro Hero 9. Carlos says, love you, work. thank you. Right, I'm gonna call it there, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, this has been great. 74 minutes, that's a record for me. I usually do 60, so yeah. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate it. Nice one. See you later.